Hello boys and girls. I'm going to read today a story about a vegetable. It's a Brussels sprout and the story's called the smelly sprout. And there on the front cover of the book, the sprout saying, why does nobody like me? The story is written and illustrated by Alan Plenderleith. Let me just make my picture a little smaller and we can see this wonderful book. It's for Max, who thinks sprouts are yummy. And there's the sprout, the smelly sprout. It was Christmas Day. Santa had been, and all the presents were unwrapped. The turkey was in the oven, and Dad was helping Mum prepare the vegetables. Broccoli, carrots, potatoes and peas. Yummy. But one vegetable had been overlooked. There he lay, all alone, at the bottom of the vegetable basket, a little green sprout. The sprout looked around and saw he was alone, so he decided to make himself known. Plop, he jumped out of the basket. Ahem, excuse me, he said in a tiny voice. I think you've forgotten about me. Ah, a sprout, yuck, said Dad. Ah, get rid of it, screamed Mum. I think it's safe to say that Mum and Dad do not like sprouts. Out, smelly sprout. There you can see Dad throwing the sprout out into the snow. The sprout stepped out into the big, wide world. It was big and quite wide too. The streets were very quiet and the shops were all closed. Suddenly, the little sprout felt very lonely indeed. But then he saw something wonderful. A huge tree filled with lots of colourful balls. Some were green like super shiny sprouts. The little sprout climbed up the tree to join the other colourful balls. Suddenly, the tree began to quiver and shake. Urgh, said the tree. Something green and smelly is climbing up my branches. It's a smelly sprout, screeched one of the baubles. Yuck, go away, yelled the tree. I think it's safe to say that Christmas trees do not like sprouts. Out, smelly sprout! Oh dear, look, he's walking through the snow by himself. The little sprout came to a pretty street where the houses were decorated with colourful lights. In every garden there was a snowman, and on every snowman's face was a bright orange carrot, all except one. The snowman had no nose at all. It had, in fact, been used in an emergency for someone's Christmas dinner. The sprout saw the little hole on the snowman's face and thought it looked like a lovely place to sit. So he climbed up the snowman's cold body, passing its lumpy coal and, <clears throat> and its lumpy coal smile on the way and sat down in the little hole. Look, he looks very comfortable there. But do you think he stayed there? Ugh, what a horrible smell, said the snowman. I think it's safe to say that snowmen do not like sprouts. Out smelly sprout. And the snowman threw the sprout away. Oh dear. The sprout landed deep in a dark wood. He suddenly wished he had stayed in the vegetable basket. As he walked through the scary woods, he could feel eyes all around staring. But then the sprout saw something. It was a little mouse. He looked very cold and sad. Hello, said the sprout. Are you all right? I'm looking for food, 
shivered the mouse. I need to eat before I sleep for the winter. The sprout was about to reply when... Growl. Was that your tummy? asked the sprout. Uh, I don't think so, said the mouse. It was a fox. Ah! I'm hungry too, slobbered the greedy fox. The sprout and the mouse ran as fast as their little legs could carry them, but the fox was fast too. They ran through the icy twigs and frosty bushes, but all the time the fox was close behind. Suddenly the ground disappeared before them. They had nowhere to go. The fox came towards them, his slippery tongue licking his slobbery lips. Slurp! Time for my crisp mouse dinner, drooled the fox. But just as the fox was about to chomp, the little sprout jumped inside the fox's mouth. Inside the fox's mouth, the sprout bounced up and down on his tongue. Boing, boing, boing. Ugh! cried the fox. A smelly sprout. I hate smelly sprouts. I think it's safe to say that foxes do not like sprouts. Out, smelly sprout! Oh, thank you, thank you, said the mouse. The sprout was about to reply when... Growl! Was that your tummy? asked the sprout. Er, uh, yes, it was, actually, said the mouse. Then you must have me for dinner said the sprout. R really? said the mouse. Of course, said the sprout. That's what sprouts are for. He looked very happy. Back in his cosy nest, the mouse had a scrummy Christmas dinner. Afterwards, the mouse felt so full, he went straight to bed. And the sprout was very happy to have found a home at last, inside a nice, warm tummy. There's the back cover of the book, with Dad throwing the sprout away. There's the back and front cover. Here's the front cover, the smelly sprout. Well, it had a happy ending in the end. Hope you enjoyed the story. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye.